A direct flight service was initiated from Khatnaika to Melbourne on the 29th of this month. Imran Furkan caught up with High Commissioner for Sri Lanka to Australia, Somasundaran Sak Somasundaran. During this year, our, our, our relationship has got considerably stronger. In fact, our people to people and government to government relations could, relationships could not have been stronger than what it is today. And therefore, the timing of uh, Sri Lankan Airlines' return to direct flights could not have been better. And to be quite honest, as most of us stood there and watched the wheels touch the tarmac, um, the runway, uh, we all had goosebumps because it's such a wonderful feeling. It was such an elegant uh, landing. And then uh, we had the felicitation speeches, and, and we also had the two cricketing icons, Mahela and Kumar, coming to support the event. Uh, I'm greatly uh, enthused by the prospects that we have, uh, given the background to what we've achieved during the year. Uh, this flight, this weekly daily flight, is going to impact tourism, our business relationship, because don't forget that it's going to open up doors for us to be able to export direct to Melbourne. Traditional goods like, you know, which normally would not have come because of the transit via Singapore or whatever other point, uh, in terms of our hot plants, our organic vegetables, our fruits, um, seafood, and, and then reciprocally out from here, uh, largely the business uh, delegations and also um, Tourism. And tourism, obviously, we don't need to elaborate on it because everybody knows how popular Sri Lanka is becoming as a tourist destination. We just have to enhance our marketing, and I think the Tourist Promotion Board and the Development Authority are looking at it very seriously. So, I feel that this is going to have a major impact on our relationship in 2018. And uh, like I said, it could not have been a better time because 2018 is when we celebrate our 70th anniversary of independence as well. So it all augurs well. Uh, 